it's Laura and today I'm going to be following a Bob Ross painting tutorial. I'm super behind on the whole I tried following blank tutorial by blank person. <laughs> I was just feeling super inspired recently by the changing weather and the beautiful fall autumn season that is upon us now. Finally, thank God, I was roasting during summer and not in a good way. <laughs> so I picked a Bob Ross painting called Splendor of Autumn. Never done a Bob Ross painting before. I've never tried following along before. In fact, I've never tried following along in real time to another person painting. So we're gonna see what happens. And without further ado, let's go ahead and see if we can make an autumn masterpiece or an autumn disaster. <laughs> like Bob suggested so helpfully for us, I have gone ahead and primed my canvas with a cream colored texture paste, uh, just to go ahead and get started. Here is my palette and I've already gotten all the colors and shit that Bob wanted us to go ahead and get. I have some linseed oil on here and I am going to go ahead and do a very light kind of glaze of white on here. The oil on this canvas will just keep things um, nice and slick. And she's all oiled up and ready to go. Let's start. Here we go. Here we Welcome go. Back. So hey, glad you could join us today. I thought today we'd do a painting that's just very pretty to make you feel good inside. But he wants to do a painting that, that makes us feel pretty on the here. inside. I have my standard so old 18 by 24 inch double prime canvas. Okay. But you use whatever size is convenient for you. I've just covered the entire canvas with a very, very thin coat of liquid white. Okay. So it's all wet and ready to go. So let's just have some fun today. All wet and ready to go. Maybe we'll start out with a little tiny two inch brush. And to that, we'll add a little bit of Indian yellow. Okay. Just a small amount. Don't need much. Thought we just, let's just do something that's bright and shiny and pretty. As I say, it'll make you feel good inside. Yeah, yeah, put that yellow. Put a little yellow right there. Something about like that. I like it. Uh, Bob, help me. <laughs> you put two eyes and a big smiley face on there, we'd have somebody's portrait right there. Oh, that's so no, cute. Really. There we go. Maybe a little more of the ochre. A little more of the ochre? Yeah, Find I was thinking out. the same mm, thing. Somewhere okay. like that. We don't care. We don't care. We're just don't painting a happy little difference. painting. Uh huh. Because as you know, we don't make mistakes. We don't make mistakes. We just have happy accidents. We just have happy accidents. See, Bob already knows, man. Okay. Oh, Shit, I didn't get a thing to wash my up. goddamn brush. Okay. Oh, he's using a palette knife. Plato blue. We just make a nice lavender color. Lavender? The fuck? I like that. Then I'm going to start on the outside edge. Oh my god, Bob. And just begin blending that in. Just to bring it up like that. Yeah. Okay, and then what? We do yeah, something you very like bright that, and sparkly. Bob? Maybe, maybe. I'm going to hell. Like we want to go feel. on the other side over I'm here only too. feeling anxiety right though. now. This is not the effect I wanted yeah. my painting to have. Just I think I got too much paint on my brush. Jesus Christ! <laughs> why the hell? Painting white. He's getting come right damn up it. The oh, why is my white purple? I would suggest that you clean the brush each time you go back to the center. Otherwise okay, you're going to drag it. A dirty not... color right back into the light area. Okay, I'm just pausing this for a second so that I can get a cup to clean my brushes. Obviously, I failed. <laughs> okay, Bob. Yeah, that, well, I got that old brush going. I don't know what he's doing. See, but shit! Shit, 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 shit. I'm just gonna make some little background. Oh my god. Indications, things that live far away. Uh. And I don't know that we really care at this point. That's right, we don't just care. background material. We don't know what anything is, okay. Sometimes you can take just background material. Yeah. Just background material, that's yeah. what I tell myself. As you begin day. running out of paint, you don't know that it even matters right now. Exactly, it no nothing matters. Just mad indications. Wherever you want them. Yeah, wherever I want them, because this is my yeah. painting. You know, we don't make, Just all we don't, kinds we make of happy layers. little accidents. Wait, do we make accidents? I don't remember. Uh, Indication of layers. Layers. Onions have layers. Do the shape that in your mind. Just enjoy. I am enjoying, thanks. There, put this down. We'll decide where the water lives later. Little bush, it lives right here. Oh, okay. 
little bush that lives right there. That sounds like a euphemism for something else. <laughs> okay. okay. We'll pull a little reflection down for him. Yeah, little reflection for our little bush. That easy. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Get crazy. Maybe over here. Oh, let's Maybe get crazy, guys. Let's put some here. Into the water. So it looks like that water's back behind there. Yeah. Oh, that's a good technique, Bob. I like that. There. Once again. Uh huh. Just a little. Hang with that. Wait, what are we doing, Bob? Just cut Don't don't indication. leave me. Honestly, I see what you're doing, Bob. Right. I see your Already vision. You can go in here and take your knife and cut in little sticks and twigs. Cut in little Sometimes sticks and twigs. Sometimes in between all these little areas. What? How are you cutting? Here they come. <laughs> it won't cut. Think, oh, let's have some fun here. Maybe in our world. Uh huh. Maybe. Bro, you didn't you tell me you're gonna be using a round brush. Round brush. <laughs> I need some oil. Take one side. This was my white brush. I'm using the white. wrong brush. What is he doing? Really you want better. us to do yes, what? This is so pitiful. There's a happy little bush in there. Oh, fuck. No. Painting does nothing else for you. It should make you happy. Okay. Calm down. It should make you happy. So everything is fine. I don't understand how he keeps his brush. brush is so clean. Put a little it comes right down here. I'm gonna add a little dark sienna. Made a brown in there. There we go. I was using brown the whole time. <laughs> so bravery time. Bravery time. No, oh, Bob, please. A lot of pain. Please bravery don't. Test. No, God. You ready for this? No. Maybe in our world there lives. <gasps> oh my. Big tree, right there. Oh God. Uh, okay. Big tree has a friend. Oh no. Oh God! Oh. There we go. Get on this side. Oh my God! <laughs> big, big, big old tree. Let these big trees scare you. They scare me, Bob. Just, help! You know, it's your world, and you can put a big tree wherever you want it. It's my world. I can wherever put a big tree here, wherever I want it. Am I the only one who doesn't know how to use a goddamn palette knife? It's Why is my tree blue? How do, how do you paint this? Touch. How do you? Let the tree Mike. take off what it wants. Give you back what's left. What's left, it's Bob? Touched. Help me. And this is dry. What? Out here. I don't know. Maybe this little tree got stomped on it. He's not doing so good. That's me. Yeah. I'm the done. tree. <laughs> Bob, you need to, go. honey, sweetie. Well, Bob, help me. You know where it is. Help. Sarah, help me. Help me. <laughs> oh my God, I don't know what to do. Ooh, I like it. No! I like that color. <laughs> Gorgeous, that's what I was looking for. Bro! How did you do this? Yeah, that's what I was looking Come on, Laura, you've learned this. You know how to do light. Little I don't even know what this is anymore. Good. A little red. A liner brush. With a what? Like a quick little signature. With a what? He's you already signing it! <laughs> oh. this one. With that, we're gonna call it done. <laughs> all of us here, I'd like to wish you happy painting. And God bless, my friend. God bless you too, Bob. Thank you. Thank you for um, helping me um, create this. Bob helped me all he can help me, okay? So now it's up to me, and I'm gonna attempt to salvage this. Bob, you crazy son of a bitch. I can't believe he really went and put that got that tree in the middle. Like, man. Time for me to sign it. Um, the thing about me is I don't have any... I have like a way that I would sign my name and that's easy to do when you're using like pen or something but when it comes to paint it's really hard for me to do that whole uh, Laura Isley signature. Um, so I've sort of like simplified it and I just do my initials. Je ne comprends pas. I really, I genuinely do not get how people do a signature. Do they bargain with Satan? Do they sacrifice their first child? I'm up for any of those things. I just, I need the in. <laughs> okay, here is. <laughs> The finished painting, got my trees, my very risky trees right there, <laughs> and then my abomination of a signature right at the bottom. 
Um, overall, I think it looks pretty good for 25 minutes. Also, considering I've never done a Bob Ross painting before. <laughs> so, that was my I tried to follow a Bob Ross painting tutorial thing. These trees, man, that was... That about gave me a heart attack when he put those there. <laughs> I ran into a couple problems while doing this, so if you want to follow a Bob Ross painting tutorial, here are my sick tips. One, make sure you have something to clean your brush with. I did not have that. I was very unprepared, and thus I was stressed out trying to clean off my brush. Two, I would say actually clean up your brush. <laughs> Three, don't try to make it exactly like Bob's. He says it in like all his videos. Your painting does not have to be exactly like his, and he doesn't want yours to be exactly like his. You are unique, and you can create your own unique painting without making it exactly like Bob's. In the words of Bob Ross, we don't make mistakes. We only make happy little accidents. Sometimes. Some accidents are bigger than others, <laughs> but nevertheless, they're all happy. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this puts you into the autumn fall mindset now that October is finally here and we can get rid of all of the heat and humidity that was summer. Grab yourself a pumpkin spice latte if you're feeling basic and go watch a Bob Ross painting tutorial. Hopefully I will see you with a new video soon.